Hello there, this is Cheryl VL with Up To My Glass. And I thought I would just record this little experiment I'm doing. Um, I have a poppy. My very favorite color is aqua and white. Um, and it should look like this. It's about a foot across, but it broke. And these pieces are pretty thick here. So it's three layers of glass through the center there. Um, it broke and I am going to try to repair this. The one thing I love about glass is that nothing is ever wasted. So if I didn't think I could repair this, I would just throw it in a bin that I keep all of my reject projects in. I can take a hammer to them, melt them and redo something else with them. I can pull them into vitrograph. I can make frit out of it. I could do a lot of different things, but I never throw these things away. I recycle, refuse and redo. So I thought, why not? try to repair this and still have a poppy. Now it's not one that I would try to sell, um, but I would hang it in my own home. So let's see what I would, what I think I can do here. This is slumped into a three dimensional form here. So what I'm going to try to do is de-slump it, unslump it and make it go flat again. And then I'll try to refuse it together re-slump it and hopefully have a beautiful poppy at the end of this. So today I will put it in the kiln and try to unslump it or de-slump it. I'm making up words now and try to, to make it into two flat pieces so I can try to put them back together. Now I could always glue this, but that that's not gonna, that's not a permanent fix. We're trying to come up with a permanent fix. So. I don't know, I guess come along with me on this experiment. Let's see what happens. We'll see you soon. Okay, day two or step two of repairing this poppy. So I was trying to unslump this poppy and I actually fired it twice because it has in the middle still a little curve to it so I put it back in to do it again, a little hotter, a little longer. It still didn't fall down, but I think we can make it work. So what I have here are my two pieces of this poppy. And so they're not meeting up exactly together because of that curve, but we are going to cut another circle of black to go over it and we will full fuse it. So. You know, there's so many different ways to do circles. I love my little mini cutter here. So I'm gonna go ahead and score this circle. I then take, oh goodness, here we go, a hand cutter. Pistol grip is my preference. And go along one side of it. And butt into it and go here. And then you can do that or you can break it with your breakers which is what you probably should do and then I just go around and on these small sides I'm trying to make a little pinwheel more or less motion and then I take my breakers sorry for the noise that's my dog outside uh, here they are my breakers and I will start on this side and some of it won't come off and I will come back and get those in a moment. Right now I have a little bit of cleaning up to do. We're gonna be full fusing this, so it will, these little imperfections won't show. All right, just nipping off these little, I don't know if you can see them, their little tags on them. So nipping those off with these grossing pliers. pretty good circle right there. All right, and I am going to put it on top of here and I'm gonna full fuse this poppy again and see what happens. I think it'll work just fine. We'll see in the next video. Talk to you soon, bye. All right, I thought I'd come back real quick. So there is a pretty big gap here in the white. So I've cut a small triangle of white and I'm gonna put that right there and then when I set my circle down, 
I'm concerned that it's gonna slide off in the kiln as it starts to melt. So I just took one of my scrap pieces of triangle. I'm gonna set it on this side so that it'll balance on that ridge that's made. And now, as it starts to heat up to full fuse, it should all melt down and make one beautiful flat piece and be repaired. Let's see, we'll see, hopefully tomorrow. All right, guys, uh, phase two of repairing this poppy is complete and we were successful. So here is the poppy flat. See there, it's now all one piece of glass. The repair is totally mended. It looks great. So I'm going to put it into slump tonight and we'll see how it looks tomorrow. Yay, thanks. Okay guys, it looks like our experiment was a success. This poppy used to be in two pieces and now it is one. Looks good as new. And all I have to do now is pick a stamen. This is the one I had handy. I guess it could work. Um, but I have a few in the back that I've done before. So I'll pick one and mount it and hang it in my house. Anyway, thanks for coming along with this experiment. Bye.